Llewellyn Public Library is hosting a new monthly speaker series and the source stopped by for opening night. The uh, focus is to um, deal with the history of the construction of the Llewellyn Canal, specifically the workers who, who had fallen. A uh, number of workers died building that canal, in particular we're talking about the Fourth Welland Canal, um, and, we're, and we're dealing on a series of that. So basically all these uh, speakers are, are writing part of a book that is going to be dealing with the fallen workers of, of, of the Welland Canal, and eventually there will be a memorial built as well. Can you tell me about tonight's speaker? Uh, Terry Hughes, um, yeah, he's going to be speaking, he's talking about the changing landscape of Welland on the Welland Canal, um, the construction of it, but then after its closure, and how it impacted Welland and, and, and the community. Um, lifelong uh, resident of Welland um, came with um, you know tons of pictures and photos that he's going to be showing, telling stories about these photos, and on how it impacted Welland, the canal through through through, through the years. Um, you know he's been a teacher in his community. He's retired now, but he taught thirty some odd years or more, I believe. Um, so you know he, he's an expert on this topic. So he, this is the first. This is a really good guy to kick off the program. Terry, can you tell me the, about the topic, the canal landscape of Welland? Well, actually, it's going to be even more expanded than just Welland. We're going to take a look at things from 1932, and from that point on, we'll probably be looking at the entire length of the canal from one end to the other. But there are certain things that happened during those times, which a lot of people didn't know about, or if they did, they didn't really see the whole story behind it, and that's what we're going to try to do today. And, of course, we'll be mentioning some of the unfortunate situations that happened to those people that were involved in the building of the canal as well. What do you want people to take away that have come here tonight to see your presentation? Well, again, be more familiar with what the canal was, how important it was. It was a, a, an engineering marvel when it was completed. Uh, it was probably rival that of the Panama Canal. And in fact, our locks lifted higher than the Panamas did. And uh, in essence, uh, was something that Canadians could be proud of. Unfortunately, the 137 people that were promised that were passed on or were promised to have a special monument that didn't happen well we're here today to start that process and hopefully we'll see something i think it's, they're talking about having something ready next year when do these lectures take place and how can people get involved and come out to them basically the lectures are they're going to be on the last tuesday of the month um starting this obviously september here tonight um but then you know the last tuesday i believe october 25th um, with the railway and then the last Tuesday of November. Um, we're going to take a break in December and then again the last Tuesday evening um, in January and then March and April. Um, and you just, gonna, just come on down to the, to, to the Welland Civic Square. It's going to be here in the, in the community room upstairs. Um, the library is just this, this below. But yeah, you can just come on by and uh, if you'd like to register, you can give a call. We can register you, but also too, it's just open to the public. Anybody can come in. To find out more about the speaker series, visit wellandlibrary.ca. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bob Dewey Decimal Romeo.